How's it going everyone? It's time once again for a weekly watch list. What this is, is the exact level slash zones I'm watching for the upcoming week and how I'm going to trade them. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button and click that bell icon so you do not miss out any upcoming videos. Let's get right into this. Oh, and be sure you stick around to the end. I got a couple individual tickers I'm going to talk about, uh, give some possible trade ideas on them. So now on spy here, we had a beautiful sell off right last week. People were like Grizzly, you know, is this recession or, you know, the market crashing to me right now, looking at the weekly time frame, I glanced at it. I had my indicators up, you know, we look to be making a higher low in the weekly time frame as of now. We haven't lost that 20 EMA on the weekly. So next week we'll tell the story on that. It's a possibility that Friday was the bottom. If so, great. If not, that's okay. We're going to make money either way we go, right? There's always money to be made trading options or futures. So let's get back to the watch list here. These are my key levels and zones for the upcoming week. You can see they've really been respected in the past week or so. We're kind of coming into new territory now for this upcoming week. And we haven't been in this since you can see back in June. All right. So we lose this 528.6. Ideally, you know, we have a push down retest. That's where we enter short to take the move down. But for the early entry, we can take the initial breakdown. So below 528.6, I will be interested in ES shorts, SPY puts, or SPX puts. I don't know if you all have seen the premiums on SPY and SPX on Friday, but they were insane. The, the, the IV was jacked up, and it was very pricey. So, uh, you know, you, you still could have traded them, yes. Um, you just had more money in the game, so I stuck to trading ES futures on Friday. Hopefully, it'll be back to normal on Monday. As far as rejects go, the only reject I'm willing to try is this 537.4. Really don't have much until way back up here around this 547 area. So, my first resistance is going to be 537.4 for a possible reject. Um, and the only bounce area I have is 524.2 area. You can see it on the four hour chart here. The more obvious, the more clear levels is 518.3. Like I said, though, I think we could bounce here, but you know, I'm not, I'm not mad either way. So something happens. We do get down to this 518.36. This is exactly what I'd like to see when I'm looking for a bounce. I want to see a clear level. You can clearly see we've hit this. If you look right here, one, two, three. So it's confirmed. We've seen very good movement at this level. See how we've had nice movement since we touched. That's what I like to see when looking for levels to trade. I'm not looking to trade levels where we just get and chop around. But yeah, pretty straightforward week for us. Just be sure to have these levels charted out. Have your game plan ready. Know where you're going to stop out. I had someone reach out to me. And they're like, uh, on Friday, I don't know if they was talking about last Friday or the previous Friday, but they said they gave back two weeks worth of profits on a Friday. I know we've all been there. That's the worst feeling going on tilt right before the weekend. But... You know, it's just from making mistakes, right? They made mistakes. They didn't follow the plan. They kept moving the stop loss. They let their losers run, right? We let winners run. We don't let losers run. We follow our plan. We stop out where the trade invalidates. Here are my SPX levels. Not much has changed. We're still, honestly, they all still look really good. We, we respected them for the most part. We did fall through here, but that was just extreme weakness. You'll have days like that. I still like that level. Just be sure you have these up. You can trade based off these levels once you get confirmation watching price action on SPY. Uh, you can trade ES or options as well here. When I'm trading SPY or ES, I have SPX up. Think of it as your guide, right? Like I said, no calls below resistance on SPX and no puts above support. One simple tip will keep you from stopping out early. Just be patient. Wait on it to clear them levels. QQQ, I don't have too much. We have this level here. If we lose it, I'll be looking to go short. Same as the setup on SPY. Or the only reject area I have back up around this 475. That's it. I really don't see no clear levels in between. And I prefer trading SPY. So now let's talk about this NVIDIA situation. We've had a nice sell off. Looks as though we're making a double bottom here on the four hour. People's like, Grizzly, how are you handling this? Are you adding? Yes, I'm going to add some longer term stuff here on NVIDIA. I'll add all the way down to 96. 
then you're probably thinking, what happens if we lose that level? After that, I'm going to set up, you know, probably some sort of reoccurring buy. I'm not going to try to time it anymore after that. But with time, I think we'll be okay. I think it'll uh, come back up. I mean, you all know as good as I do, NVIDIA is a powerhouse. When it starts up trending, it's just a monster. So I see this as a buying opportunity. A lot of people seeing red right now. I see opportunity, okay? I'm willing to hold this for a you know for a long time. So that's kind of my thought process. Uh, yes, we got some good day trading levels coming up. That 96 could be, that 96 area could be a very good bounce area for calls for a day trade. You know, we've got that daily gap there. If we do push down that far, that daily gap feel there. But we'll take a look at it once we get closer to that. Something I can give you all during my Instagram live of the morning. I go live every single morning on Instagram, 100% free. We create a watch list. I answer questions. So be sure to check that out. So this is probably my favorite setup for the upcoming week as far as individuals go. Let's take a look at this daily. This is a self-explaining, right? Huge daily gap. And that's what I'm looking to trade. Once we enter into that gap, I'm going to get some calls. Stop loss will be five or 15 minute close out of that gap. And I'm looking to play it to the upside. I'll be trimming as we go up. It's a beautiful setup. I really like that daily candle. Let's just wait till the bids clear that level. And let's try some calls, see if we can you know, ride them up. I don't expect it to fill that gap in one day. So just be sure you're managing your trade as we go. And that's it. That's all for this week. Uh, let's really focus in. There's going to be some opportunity this week. A nice pullback to the 20 EMA on the the weekly chart on SPY. Yeah, let's just focus in and let's make some money. Appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you next time.